Okay then, who's ready for a week at school sleepaway camp? Yeah. Time to get on the bus, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Tot. You ticklish baby sis. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Spuddy. Going to your first school sleepaway camp. Oh, puggy huggy. Oh, oh, have the most pugtastic time, Spudster. I'll try, Papa. Hey, Chipolata. Mr. Buffalo had a couple of spare camp t-shirts, so I asked if you could have one. Look, the pocket is a tent. I love, love, love it. Thank you, Spud. See you in a week, everyone. Puggy, love you. Love you too, Spuddy Spud. Bye, Spud. Hey, Chip. Hi, Howie. My sister Hortense gave me a spare t-shirt too. I'm keeping snacks in the pocket. My potato snuggly is going in mine. <laughs> you and that snuggly. <laughs> the pocket's puggy perfect, isn't it, my secret most friend? Uh -huh. Bye, Bye. 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 Okay, Chip Dip, time for school. Ooh. Shall I take your t-shirt home, Chip? You don't want a fine t-shirt like that getting messy or torn in class. Mm. Can I keep it on? I'll be careful. Puggy pleasey. <laughs> Well... Okay. Thank you! Bye! Bye! Bye now! Happy hi, Miko! Happy hi, Chip! I love your new t-shirt. Thanks! Spud gave it to me before he went to sleepaway camp. <laughs> hey, t-shirt twin! <gasps> Wanna sit together today? Um, okay. But, Chip, we usually sit together. Sorry, Miko. <laughs> My lovely happy hoppers. That was the last time I'll take class attendance with you, because... Oh, I think we all know that sound. Your usual teacher returns today. Yay! Yay! Mr. Diggity! I'm Diggledy back from my eye operation. Now, give Mrs. Whale a happy hopper thank you for teaching you while I was away. Thank, thank you, Mrs. Mrs. Whale! Until next time, happy hoppers. And thank you. <laughs> now, class. Tell me what you've been doing while I've been away. Giggleish. How are you? Tell me what is new. I can stand on one leg and count to ten now, Mr. Diggory. Oh, one, very two, good. Three. Berry Bear. How are you? Tell me what is new. I've been. Uh, uh... I'll come back to you, Berry. Peter Wolf, how are you? Now tell me what is new. I got a scrape on my knee. It's got a bandage, see? Oh, dear. I'm still trying to remember, Mr. Diggerty. Chip, how are you? Now tell me what is new. I got this T-shirt from my brother Spud, and it's just like mine. Spud's at sleepaway camp for one whole week. I want to keep my T-shirt on till he gets back. Ooh. Very stylish, Chip. I've remembered what's new, Mr. Diggerty. Yes, Barry? We moved to a new house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Happy Hoppers. For this numbers activity, please paint one dot in the first box, in the second box, two dots, and in the third box... Three dots, Mr. Diggerty. Exactly right, Gigglish. Now paint those diggledy dots, everyone. T-shirt twin coming through. Oops. Sorry, Chip. Howie, you splashed paint on my T-shirt. I did say sorry. May I suggest taking the T-shirt off, Chip, before more paint gets on it? But it's my special T-shirt. I really, really want to keep it on, Mr. Diggerty. I'll be extra careful with it from now on. Well, okay, Chip. Let's stick with Nico for the rest of the day and stay out of Howie's way. Uh-huh. Hi, T-shirt twins. Ah. <laughs> Hi, T-shirt twin. <sighs> and write your number two on your whiteboard, please. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Chip. <sighs> so much for staying out of Howie's way. At least we can walk home together, Chip. Just you and me. You're right, Nico. Hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, hi Bodie. Hi. Hi, Chip Dip. How was school? Oh, your T-shirt is very dirty, Chip. 
I think you should take it off. Mama, I know it's dirty, but please, can I keep it on? Well, I guess so. Hi, T-shirt twin. Well, hello, Howie. Now, seen as Spud and Hortense are at sleepaway camp, your Grammy and I thought it would be a lovely idea to take you two to the Happyton Pizza Piazza. Arr, 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 I love pizza! Arr, arr. Me too! <gasps> Can Nico come for pizza too, Mama? Of course! The more the buggier. Oh, thank you, little Mama. But Nico has a piano lesson tonight. Maybe another time. Okay. Happy bye, Chip. Happy <laughs> bye, Nico. <gasps> to the Happyton Pizza Piazza, T-shirt twin! <laughs> Thank you, Mama. I've never sat at a Happyton Pizza Piazza table without grown-ups before, Potato. Uh-huh. Cheesy pumpkin pizza. Puggalicious. I'll share it with you. I promise. <laughs> Hi, kiddos. What can I get you? I'd like a cheesy pumpkin pizza, please, Mr. Octopus. Me too! Uh, please? Two cheesy pumpkin pizzas coming right up. Yeah! <laughs> hey, what's <laughs> my t-shirt? Howie made it even messier, Potato. But I'm still not taking it off. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, Potato, you can have some pizza. <laughs> Look, Chip! Oh! <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> <clears throat> Oops. Pardon me. I'm hungry for more pizza. Oh, me too. Someone ate more pizza than I thought they would. Very good eating, pups. Have you got room for ice cream? <laughs> yes, Puggy, pleasey. Oh, oh! <laughs> ice cream! Choose what you want and I'll order it when Harriet and I have finished our pizzas. I hope they finish soon. Hmm, <laughs> I smell more pizza! <laughs> Howie, that's not your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Come on, Chip. You're still hungry. You take some. Mm -mm. Here it comes. Delicious pizza. You know you want it, Chip. Uh -uh. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Here you go, T-shirt twin. Oh, uh, thanks. I mean, um, go on, Chip. Eat it. Chip, what are you doing? Eating pizza? I... I was still hungry, Mama. But you knew you were getting ice cream. You should have waited, Chip. And look at your T-shirt. <laughs> and Howie, don't think I didn't see you take that pizza and pass it to Chip. Now say sorry to Mr. Octopus, please. Sorry, Mr. Octopus. Sorry, Mr. Octopus. Apology accepted, kiddos. No ice cream for you, Chip. No ice cream for you either, Howie. <laughs> My t-shirt is a real mess, Potato. Uh -huh. Take it off, please, Chip. Come to the washing machine. I know I should have let you take my camp t-shirt home before school, Mama. I just wanted to keep it on. Well, sometimes Mama knows best. Now, pop it in the washing machine with the other dirty clothes, please, Chip. When it's clean and dry, we can talk about you wearing it again, but not at school. <laughs> and not at the Happyton Pizza Piazza with Howie, hmm? It was so unlike you to take food that didn't belong to you, Chip. I know. I'm sorry, Mama. And I puggy promise never to do it again. Look, Mama! Tot nearly stood up! <laughs> oh, what a clever little puppet! <laughs> Sorry that I listened to Howie instead of you today, Potato. <laughs> I don't make good choices when I'm with Howie. I make better choices when I'm with Nico. Uh-huh. Oh, <gasps> Nico! 
Good night, my best panda pal. Good night, best puggy pal. And potato pal, too. Night, night, potato. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chippy Pug Pop! Have you taken Spud's clean underwear to him yet? I'm just doing that now, Papa. So you are. Good work, Chip. They're the last thing Spud needs to pack for school sleepaway camp. Aha! Uh -huh, would you look at that? <gasps> My apron. <sighs> just what I was looking for. Now I can start baking Spud a pumpkin pie for his special going away feast tonight. Phew! That was close. Papa nearly saw you, my secret potato pal. <laughs> hey, yo! Huh? Who's throwing underpants? <laughs> Is that you, Chipolata? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry, Spud. Better hoodie up now, potato. Thanks for the help, Chipster. I'm nearly packed for school camp. I would love to go to camp too, Spud. Just like you. You will when you're older, Chip Squeak. Now. Help me decide which cap to wear to camp. Oh, but wait, I forgot. I'm having my hair cut at the groomers later. Maybe I shouldn't wear a cap so everyone at camp can see my new haircut. <gasps> I've never been to the groomers. I want to go too, just like you. You don't need to go to the groomers, Chipolata. You've only got one little curl. Well, I want to go anyway. Mama, Mama! First proper haircut at the groomers today? Just like Spud? Puggy, pleasey. Hmm. If you go to the groomers, you need to sit very still, Chip. Can you sit still? Still? Easy squeezy, puggy peasy. <laughs> I can be still. I can be still. Oh, right. Still. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, Chippy Dip. You can have your first haircut at the groomers today, just like Spud. Yay! Thanks, Mama. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look, Mama, there's a man, Danico, and <gasps> wow, Bodie's walking. Yes, he walked all the way from Flingo's store. Really, Amanda? Uh huh. Oh, which reminds me, little Mama. Did you know the Flingos are planning to retire? They'll be selling the store Nico, and looking for someone else. I'm having my haircut at the groomers today for the first time. You'll love the groomers. They've got these chairs that go up and down, but when you sit in them, you have to stay, stay still. I know. I practiced, and now I'm great at it. <laughs> so, are you just getting your curl cut, or are you going to get a different style as well? <laughs> hmm? I haven't really thought about a different style. <laughs> oh, so you're off to the groomers then, Spud. That'll be fun. And I'm asking for a new style today, Amanda. Well, I'm sure it'll be great. Your hair always looks good. <gasps> Nico, that's it! Spud's hair does always look good. I'll ask for my hairstyle to be just the same as Spud's. Bye, Nico. We've got to go. Let's go, Mama. Let's go. I can't wait to get my new hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> Puggy Super Wow. And just wait till you see inside. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to... Snippy Clippy Fur Fur! <laughs> Chip, is that you there? No, Miss Gigglish. Very still now. Sorry, Polly. Mama, can I go and say hi to Gigglish? Of course, Chippy Dip. Hi, Chip. This is Polly. Hello, Chip. Hello. Have you come to get your hair cut? Yes, it's my first time. That's great. What style are you going to get? Spud's getting a new style today. I want to copy his. Really? There are lots of styles to choose from, though, Chip. See? I like that one. It would look good on you, Chip. Wow, do you think so, Gigglish? Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Chippy Nip, Mrs. Anteater Lope is ready to do your hair now. I better go. Bye, Gigglish. Bye, Polly. Bye, Chip. <laughs> Have fun, Chippy Pip. And remember to sit still. I will, Mama. <laughs> well then, Chip. First things first, a puggy hair wash to get your hair nice and clean. <laughs> there, I can see you perfectly now. Ah, and whom do we have here? It's my snuggly potato. Oh, delighted to meet you, potato. <laughs> now this is the part where you have to be... Very still. I can do that, Mrs. Anteater Lope. I've practiced. Haven't I, potato? Well done, Chip. You've just had your very first haircut at... Snippy Clippy Fur <laughs> I've decided what style I would like now, Mrs. Anteater Lope. I want my hairstyle just like that. Oh, sorry, Chip. Your hair isn't long enough to be styled that way. You have a short pug curl. Mm. Is there another style you'd like instead? But I... Perhaps you can decide while I check on Granny Fan's blue rinse, hmm? If I can't have a style like that, I can still copy the style Spud's gonna choose. Right, Potato? Uh -uh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it looks like something's wrong, Potato. <gasps> you want to go and find out what's happening? Uh-huh. Okay. Go and see. But be careful, secret friend. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, little mama, but Spud has puggy nits. So he can't have his haircut today. Puggy nits? Yeah, some teensy insect friends have laid some little eggs in your fur. Oh, so that's why my head's been itchy. And there's a very easy treatment. Wash your hair with this. It's a special shampoo. And the puggy nits will be gone. But no haircut today, because the puggy nits can spread to other fur quite easily. Phew. Thank goodness you're back, Potato. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Did you find out why Polly hasn't started cutting Spud's hair yet? Uh-huh. <laughs> Spud's got puggy nits and can't get his hair cut at all? Uh-huh. Poor Spud. <laughs> Hi, Spud. Hey, Chipolata. Looks like I can't get my new hairstyle today after all. I've got puggy nits. I know. I mean, I'm sorry, Spud. Puggy Huggy? Better not, Chipster. I want you catching these puggy nits, too. So have you decided what style you're gonna get yet? No, I was going to get that style, but my hair isn't long enough. And now that you're not getting your hair styled, I can't copy you. I don't know which style to copy. But why do you have to copy anyone, Chipsqueak? Why don't you go for your own puggy style? <gasps> That's a great idea, Spud. Oh, I'm gonna miss you when you're away at camp. Gonna miss you too, Chipolata. So, Chip, what style is it going to be? Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> wow. Best pumpkin pie ever. Thanks for my going away feast, Papa. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Super Spud. I'm just glad that the shampoo worked. And you can go to sleepaway camp. And Chip, I think your new hairstyle is the puggy perfect choice. Thanks, Papa. My braid's only little, but the hair elastic is the same color as my potato. See? Cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, yes. And look, Papa. I got a sticker from Mrs. Anteater Lope for sitting still when she cut my hair. And I asked for something for Spud, too. One of these badges that they give to the older pups. That's 
for being the best big brother, Spud. Because you are right. I don't have to copy anyone. I can make up my own mind. Thanks, Chipolata. And look, because I don't have a new hairstyle to show off, I chose a cap to wear to camp. It's gonna look even cooler with this badge. But not as cool as you and your new hairstyle. While I'm at camp, you are gonna be the most stylish pug in Happyton. <laughs> <laughs> It's home time, Happy Hoppers. Well done for today. You can collect your things from the cloak. Excuse me, Stomp. Excuse me, Giglish. I need to get my backpack. Why are you rushing, Kill? Don't you remember, Nico? The Razzles are having their teddy bears picnic today. I don't want to be late. Oh, yeah. For all the little ones on Welcome Walk. And their teddies. And us. You can be our teddy at the picnic, Potato. <laughs> Oh, my backpack stuck. Here, let me help. Now untwist the strap chip. Oh, thanks, Nico. Four paws are better than two. <clears throat> okay, Potato. Six paws. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Mrs. Will's coming. Better hoodie up, my secret potato pal. Oh, and happy hoppers. Don't forget to bring in your creative craft homework tomorrow. Um, what do we have to do again, Mrs. Whale? You need to make a musical instrument, Howie, from something that's not being used anymore. For example, you could make a drum from an old yogurt container and an ice pop stick. Nancy, <laughs> 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 sorry. I'm making a pan flute out of old bamboo, Mrs. Whale. Perfect, Nico. I haven't started making my musical instrument yet. I'm sure you'll think of something splendid, Chip. And tomorrow, Happy Hoppers, we'll make wonderful music with the instruments you've made. <laughs> Until next time, Happy Hoppers. <laughs> I guess we'll have to finish our homework before we go to the teddy bear's picnic, Chip. Yes, Nico. We could play the musical instruments we make to entertain the little ones at the picnic. Great idea. Where are we going to go? Well, hello, Panda and Pugs. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hey, Mama. Welcome to our teddy bear's picnic. Are you ready to party? <laughs> yes, Mr. Mr. Razzle. You can call me Ray. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Ray. Ray. <laughs> Mama, please, can I go to Paco's house? I need to borrow a sleeping bag for school sleepaway camp. Sleepaway camp? What's that? Sounds pretty exciting. It is. <laughs> I'm going on a school camping trip for a whole week. Our little spotty pug is growing up so fast. Mom. <laughs> we'll see you when you get back from Paco's. Thanks. Have fun, everyone. Bye, Bye. Bye. Sit down and join us, Chip and Nico. We will, Mr. Ray. But Chip and I have homework to do first. We have to make a musical instrument out of something we don't need anymore. Then we'll play our instruments for the little ones at the picnic. What a puggy good idea. <laughs> oh, hey, where are you off to, Totsy Tot? Oh, you're such a wriggler. <laughs> and Bodie's such a giggler. <laughs> <laughs> we should call the little ones the wriggly gigglers. <laughs> Wrigley Gigglers! It's a Puggy Perfect name! Now off you go to make your musical instruments. Oh, can you manage without me while I look after Tot? Yes, Mama. I can make my musical instrument all by myself. Well, help yourself to anything from the recycling box. Thanks, Mama. Meet you back here when we're finished, Nico. Okay. Happy bye, Chip. Let's go, Potato Pal. <laughs> oh. Do you want to stay and play with the Wrigley Gigglers at the picnic? <laughs> okay. But don't let the grown-ups see you, my secret mouse friend. <laughs> Time to make my musical instrument to play for the Wrigley Gigglers. <laughs> the recycling box. This pumpkin chip tube will make a good musical sound if... Put 
these beads inside and shake it. Oh, my little puggy paw is too small to cover the end of the tube. I need something bigger to stop the beads falling out. I'll use this piece of paper. Hmm. I need something to fix the paper to the tube. Ha! A hair elastic! Hmm. Uh. <gasps> I don't have enough puggy paws to hold the paper and the hair elastic at the same time. <laughs> hmm, Potato would know what to do. Oh, let me help you there, partner. Thank you, Roy. Ah, help! Thank you, Razzles. You've just given me an idea. Look, Mama, I'm making a shaker for my creative craft homework, but I need Nico's help to finish it. Can I go to his house, please? If it's okay with Amanda, it's fine with me, Chip Dip. Sounds like an excellent plan. Thanks! <laughs> Are you getting tired, Potato? Uh -uh. Don't worry. I'll be back soon to help entertain the Wriggly Gigglers with my shaker. Uh -huh. Happy hi, Nico! <laughs> Happy hi, Chip! I'm trying to make a shaker with this tube, but I need more paws. I need help making my pan flute! Listen, the different lengths of bamboo make different musical notes. <laughs> wow, your pan flute sounds great, Nico. Thanks, Chip. I just can't keep all the bamboo pieces together. They keep rolling away. I tried to glue them together, but they wouldn't stick. Tying them will be tricky with just two paws. I can help, Nico. You hold the pipes, and I'll tie them together with this yarn. There. That's great. Thanks, Chip. Now I'll help you finish making your shaker. You hold the paper over the end of the tube, and I'll fix it on with your hair elastic. Thanks, Nico. You're the best. <laughs> now we can play our musical instruments and entertain the Wriggly Gigglers. <laughs> oh dear, Chip. The Wriggly Gigglers aren't giggling anymore. Potato, I can't see her, Nico. Hi, Puggy Panda Pals. Have you finished your homework? Yes, Mama. <laughs> oh, your instruments sound great. Well done, you two. We helped each other to finish them. And now we want to play for the Wrigley Gigglers. But, Mama, I can't find my potato. Have you seen her? Sorry, Chippy Dip, I haven't. <laughs> Look at that cup, Nico. That doesn't look like Rudy Fruity Pop to me. Oh, my sleepy, snoozy potato. All that peekaboo has tired you out. Um, do you think you can entertain the Wriggly Gigglers with your musical instruments now? It might stop there. Crying. The teddy bears picnic players are ready to perform. <laughs> you play first, Chip. didn't like my shaker sound. You try, Nico. <laughs> I know. We work together to finish our musical instruments. We should play them together. <laughs> I think the Wrigley Gigglers like our music, Nico. Gigglers don't like our music, Chip. Oh, Chip and Nico, your playing was wonderful. <laughs> Mrs. Whale will love it. <laughs> the regular Gigglers are just tired after all the picnic fun. <laughs> That's a big idea for a little mouse potato. Huh? Potato thinks the Wriggly Gigglers don't want to hear loud music, Nico. We need to play gentle, sleepy music instead. We could try, I guess. Mm. 
Thanks, Potato. Well done, you two. Yes! You did a dazzlingly... Shh! Good job. I thought our music would make the regularly gigglers giggle, but we sent them to sleep instead. And Potato, too. <sighs> Mama! Paco's left me a sleeping bag! I'm all set for school sleepaway camp! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 